<clears throat> Yo, what's going on, boys? It is Try Hard Thursday, and we got a bit of a Masters Border situation here. We're going to go with a montage of Master Border videos today. So we got the set, obviously, number one in the world, no big deal. We got the Osiris, obviously not number one in the world, no big deal. We got the uh, Goddess of Demonetization. Um, we got, I, I think we got Vulcan, but I banned him. Um, I think we got, uh, do we have Bologna? No, we gotta be close on that one though. Um, oh, we got some Masters Borders though. Do I have one on Camazots? No, Diamond. Anubis? Nope, Diamond. Uh, Hoi? Nope, Diamond. Mm, I don't, I honestly don't even know who I play that much anymore. But we're gonna start it off with the Osiris game. We're gonna start it off with the Osiris. We're gonna go... The Masters Border Montage. It's lit. Royal Aquarius? That's my homeboy. That's my homie. Biggie Smalls. What up, Royal? Royal Aquarius. Aquarius. How you doing, Chief? He's got a hell of a good Hoi, I'll be honest. I don't know why he's only got a plat border on him, but uh but it's there. It's 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 definitely he's a good Hoi player. Also I haven't played today yet, so Got him. <laughs> what up? <laughs> Damn, he didn't have jump. Did he have jump and he just didn't use it fast enough? That's a rough one for him, dude. I'm just sitting here like running at him because I'm Osiris and he's a hunter, so. I've really, really been enjoying um, <clears throat> Osiris and Bologna and Erling Shan and stuff like that recently because he did have his jump, by the way. He's still level 3 and he has it. He just used it too late there, I guess. Um, we can probably get this because he's only level 4. He's not going to be able to alt it or anything nuts. I am just going to back out here. I know that a lot of people, actually most people... Go, um, go Berserker Shield on Osiris. But I've personally found, because Osiris is so important on his abilities really early in the game, I've personally found that Glad Shield straight up just gives me more success. It's tankier, and um, because I'm focusing mostly on my abilities, I'll be... Uh, able to utilize it a bit more I guess like I know Berserker Shield I could hit like all these minions and shit but I just feel like Glad Shield's the play you know and it might be wrong you know I might be completely wrong in assuming that it's the play but it's just what I personally find more comfortable and a lot of times Smite's not even about what's meta or what's the best a lot of times it is what you perform best with and I personally perform best with glad shields so hmm. I will say in this scenario right here berserkers would be pretty nice Let's go back, get some tier 2 booties. I'm actually fairly certain we could kill him right now, but 
Um, not going to. I'm just going to back it up. We're a thousand gold ahead. Uh, only a level ahead, surprisingly. I have triple buff control. I didn't get the minis, though. These minis are actually worth a lot of XP. I, I have a really bad mindset that they're worthless. And it's not because they're, they're not, obviously. They uh, give a lot of XP. And I gotta realize that so I can get ahead faster in my games. Ooh, close. But no cigarette. So hitting my one there gave me my glad shield and my warrior's blessing. That's 80 HP for hitting my one. 80 HP for hitting my four second cooldown. I'm basically Hebo right now. So he's ulting this wave maybe. Just like complete domination is the name of the game right now. Get him as weak as possible. I got a hundred mana for hitting my two. I'm actually okay with it. I'm backing right now because I would love the red buff. Oh, you lucky little bastard. <gasps> nice play. Nice play. I ain't even mad. That was a good use of your sprint and an even better use of your D key. Good job, dude. I could die. This is a pretty greedy play, honestly, going for the red buff there, but... Alright, so this is pretty much how I build Osiris. I, I don't think, like, I'm definitely not going to say that it's the play. Like, I, I don't think that it's the best way to build Osiris or the absolute meta. But it's the way I play him, and it's the way I have the most fun playing him. And it's honestly ability-based. It's ability-based early game, switched into attack speed based late game. Ooh, that would have chunked you. You're lucky you jumped that. I'm gonna go do Bull Demon, I think. He's hiding pretty heavy. Um, I'm kind of tanky. I can afford to just kind of walk in there sometimes and like be a little bit abusive. Yeah, I mean, I literally. Because of how much healing I have, I took 12 tower shots, stood inside his ult, and still got first blood, even after missing my ult. So, you can tell that this build definitely works, it's just a matter of if you can make it work, I think. Matter of if you are strong-willed enough to, to do incredibly ridiculous dives like I just pulled off. Oh man, this tower's got 1 HP. I was really hoping that would fall so I could go straight to bull, but whatever. I'll just walk in and punch it. It's not like he can kill me in time. He does no pen. He did get Transcendence, so he's going to be doing a little bit more numbies. But he's working on boots right now, and uh, that's not going to be enough for him. How much health does this have? 56, 3 autos. 1, 2, 3. Aw, oh, 4. I'm trash. Worst Osiris player. Zoinks. Um, I think I am just going to go straight for bull right now. I don't know if it's the best play or even a good play. But what I will say is that... I have more burst than him most of the time, as long as I land my ult correctly. And he doesn't get a double bounce, which is why I'm... Okay. I heal so much because of my... Uh... Oh, you're gonna die, dude. 
Yeah, he's dead. He's not fast enough. Um, but I heal so much because of my Warrior's Blessing and Glad Shield combo. <clears throat> but yeah, that... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. That was exactly what I was talking about. was like... <clears throat> this, uh... The burst damage I can pump out from my alt is insane. And honestly, my 2-1 just did like almost half his health. And I can just avoid... Get his jump here. Actually, he might still be dead. The stun still goes off. Yeah, he's dead. Alright. Go back into getting this. I don't know if I'll be able to, actually. I really... I am full tank right now, so... I do need minions to get in here at some point. With a phoenix about half with only 25% of the way to go. Nice, I got minions in here. We're good now. We are good now. Alright, now I'll back because there's nothing else for me to do. He's just going to let me. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to go into... I Actually, I'm just going to go into Blackthorn. Like, I'm just going to get super tanky. I was going to go damage here, but... <clears throat> right now, he's battling between... If he needs defense to survive my onslaught, if he needs uh, Toxic Blade to be able to literally do anything, um, in terms of like fighting me at all, ever, and if he needs um, like Kins or Xe for Pen because I'm so tanky. So he's got so many routes that he needs that I think if I just keep going tank, there's no way he's going to be able to get everything online quick enough. Because, again, I like I got thorns, so I can just, like, do this. Alright, that's him dead. And that is the game over. And it would have been anyways, because it's... Dude, it's just so insane what you can do with Osiris. It's so incredible. GG, bro. <clears throat> it's so incredible. I love it. Osiris is so fun to play. I've been really, really enjoying him. Um, also, I'm really close to level 160, dude! 160! I can't believe it. Um, okay, so let's go to a profile and see if I have any other Masters borders. I have so many diamond borders, holy shit. At the Masters Goddess of Demonetization, Master Set, Master Osiris. None of these have borders, I don't think. I don't even play them enough. It's just those three, huh? That I got Masters. All Everything else is like diamond, but like really good win rate, I think. I don't know where my where I even am on this board. I'm probably not even on the board. So many people play AMC that Yeah, I don't even know. I don't even think I'm on the board. There's so many people. Oh, there I am. I'm 12 and 3. It's not bad, but not clearly not masters border worthy. Um Poseidon, I think I was really high up there and then I just stopped playing him after I lost like 3 or 4 matches. I was number one, actually, I think. Uh, six and four, actually. That's fucking terrible. Um, Anubis. I, it's, dude, I lose so much with Anubis. It's insane. I don't even know how I have a border on him. On her is weird, because I had a platinum border. Holy fuck, all these Masters borders. I had a platinum border, because um, I, you know, I don't play him much. Trelly plays a lot on her, huh? Weird. Whatever. Let's get into the next game, boys. Probably save the set for last, maybe. Because he is my best. He is technically my best. Alright, let's ban out the Hebo. <clears throat> and ban out the Hell. Actually, we'll ban out the Uller. Uller first. 
Cooler first, because he's spooky. You gonna ban? I'll pop my boosties. Oh, he banned it for me. I'll ban Scotty then. AMC. All right. Respectable bans. Respectable bans. I'll ban out Set and Hell here because he's going to ban out Bakasar and Kronos. He already banned Bakasar. But, you know, just ban Kronos, dog. Do it. Kali. All right. Respectable again. But I could really use the Kronos ban. I could use the Kronos ban. If you want to ban Kronos, I got completely up to you. You ban Poseidon. All right, you're worthless to me. I'm playing the goddess of demonetization. Also, I have to use this skin because it's the only skin where she doesn't say her name. So, sorry, <laughs> but I have to. <laughs> Plus, the wings look really cool. They're like uh, stained glass windows, but in winged form. I only have 260,000 favor. What the hell am I doing? Why do I have so little favor? I thought I'd have like a million by now. I guess I don't play as much as I think I play. I have a message from Royal Aquarius. What are your bands and do they have Hell and Scotty and Set in them? Possibly a Hebo. They may or may not have those exact bands. <laughs> he said, oh, oh fuck. <laughs> Try hard Thursday in full effect. Is effect spelled with an E? I think you can spell it with either. I'm pretty sure it's effect. 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 Inject. Inject. Heroin. Give me the lotto. Okay. Hoi. Let's see. Can we beat the Hoi with the, the Wuz Wuz? I think I'm going to go for the cooldown. Nah, I'm going to go for the. I'm going to go for the thing. I'm going to go for the thingy route. And then the Aegis route. Let me see here. If he stuns my one. I swear to you, I'm going to be so upset. I, I fought an Anubis yesterday with this god. <clears throat> Excuse me. With this god that I'm playing now. I fought an Anubis, and uh, he kept stunning my one, and it was the most infuriating shit. I didn't even get my first gust out. It was just like, I activated it and got fucked. All right, Jesus, fuck. Well, that sucked. Maybe I can I can recover. Maybe I can recover. He does a lot of damage. I guess I I didn't expect it because I just played Osiris. Well, get the minis here. Shit. The fact that he's gonna jump my one all game is super annoying. What's his relic? He has Aegis? Good ass relic. Hey, first blood boys. The silence into the stun. Thank you, minions, for being homies. All right, so we got the first blood, which is super good, um, especially after how the beginning went. Yikes, that was rough. But we got the first blood. We'll hit level five faster than him, AKA right now. All right, he's definitely not in any position to fight me anymore. So we have red buff. Because he doesn't have Aegis and I do. If he wants to fuck over here, he's going to die. So. 
There we go. Dude. The silence is so good. I will say, I'm running out of mana very fast. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, but, sorry. Thanks for the blue buff. I super appreciate it. And now we go back and get boots. That kill was uh, unlucky for him. He should have gotten the blue buff, honestly. Like the fact that he didn't is kind of bullshit. But I did time my ability, and I don't think he was timing his. So it makes sense that he didn't get it, but it's still really rough for him. Yeah, and we are uh, we are definitely. Pushing our advantage. Alting somebody under their own tower is insanely effective because when the tower hits you, uh, it actually t charges like 20% of your ult. And then you just explode it right after you get hit by a tower shot and it does a ridiculous amount of damage. Like right there, it only did 430 or something, which isn't a high number, but then when you look at its health, which is 870. My all literally did half of his HP. And that doesn't include my 2 or my 1 or my silence, you know, stopping his abilities or anything. It, it, my alt by itself literally did half of his health. Damn, his jump was down, huh? Or maybe he was just banking on the juke. I'll, I'll be honest, I've done that sometimes as Hoi. -E. I bank on the juke and I hold my, my jump. It's not a good thing to do, but I do it. I, everyone does it. I think, at least. I bet you good players don't do it, though. Like, <laughs> like Paul and shit. They probably just jump. <laughs> Alright, he's gonna ult me, because I do not have Aegis this time. Oh, good play, not... Oh, hello. Waited too long, man. He's gonna juke in. Alright, I suck. Oh, nice Aegis, bro. Nice Aegis, Bohemian Rhapsody. See ya, though. Pop. Ah, I missed. God damn it. He jumped. I'm just gonna get this. I don't care. <clears throat> do is stop him from uh, from back in there. He doesn't have ult and he definitely does not have the HP to fight me over this blue buff, so. There we go. Just stopped his back an extra second or two to make sure that I had enough time to get that without being murdered. Didn't get the blue pot, but that's whatever. So uh, we have 30% cooldown now. Got some defense, have a lot of damage. And now it's time to get Bull Demon. Just clear the wave. What the? Okay. Fair play. Some ass. Oh. All right. I can't get Bull Demon without my alt, so it was really stupid to use it there. But whatever. I guess we just back and wait. 
And then... Oh, my neck. Let's get just some pen. And I'm gonna get Blink too. Blink is gonna be good here. Aegis is really good. Blink is really good. Thorns would have been pretty good. Not really good. The reason it would have been alright or like pretty good is because he's gonna have magical defense, so it's it's only slightly good against him. But the, the reason that it goes from slightly good to pretty good is because it smacks Titan. Thorns beats Titan's ass. So, it's pretty damn good in that regard. If I just yeet this, will you walk into it? Not even a real homie. Doesn't walk into my yeets. Alright, let's go get Bull Demon. I do have my ult. Um, I'm a little nervous, honestly. I'm a little nervous at being too low HP to be able to like really genuinely do this <laughs> um but fuck it i'm gonna stand in this so it charges my alt more there we go full hp again from the alt i have aegis if he wants to fight me um you can jump Whatever. Um, can I Your middle tower is under attack. get this? I don't know, maybe I can't actually. I thought maybe I could get this without minions, but it doesn't seem like it. Back there, clear minions. Fuck it, we're gonna race him. Cost me everything, but we did it. He doesn't. He didn't get red buff when he cleared the wave, huh? Or the the three waves, whatever. He really didn't. Wow, that's super surprising. He had three k gold. I should back twenty seven hundred, whatever. Same shit. All right, get this for max cooldown, and then I'll go into Obsidian for the Titan. I don't know. This is a longer game than the Osiris one, huh? Well, that did a thousand damage. Um, if you're okay with it, I'm just gonna win now. Honestly, he doesn't seem that okay with it, but I am just gonna win anyways. Um, sweet. And last but certainly not least, we're gonna be playing set. And if that doesn't fill up the one hour long video demand that Try Hard Thursday requires, we're gonna dive into the diamond borders. But for now, we're chilling on the masters. 
GG. GG, a brother. You got 15 seconds. I have a diamond border on Thanata. Oh, it's in Conquest. Um, diamond border on Kronos? Really? When did I get that? <laughs> 10 and 3 with him? Hmm. I don't remember getting that. I don't, honestly, I don't really remember getting many of my borders. <laughs> but, uh, they're there, so sick. And I'm thinking about maybe making, like, a stream, not like a whole new stream account, but maybe one day during stream, after, like, maybe a follower goal or a donation goal or sub goal or something, um, trying to get like a master's border on a god like just pick a god like fucking hachiman randomly and just try to demolish and get a master's border on him i feel like that would be pretty fun you really about to ban my set whatever dude i'll run it back i'll run back the master's border then or maybe i'll delve into the diamonds we do need 30 more minutes. Hmm. I'm, gonna get I'm pretty close to a master's border with Bologna, I think. I have played her like a few times. I've only lost once, so a 10 and 1 record is a master's border, I think. Because it needs to be 90% or higher to be master's border, I believe. Or maybe that's some bullshit. I don't know. Um, I believe I'm pretty close with Anubis. Uh on her. Let's go on her. This is a perfect matchup for Osiris. Oh my god. If I was Osiris, this guy would be fucked. <laughs> but unfortunately, he banned set and I've already played Osiris, so. Not today. I think I'm just gonna go... Nah, I'm gonna go beads. I was gonna say, I think I'm just gonna go straight into uh, Bracer, and then I'll get beads second relic, but... That's a lot of dead opportunities. Or death opportunities. So I think that I can fight him early game as long as he doesn't get a few lucky ass crits off. But if uh, if RNG is on our side rather than his, we should be pretty good. Like if that 15% crit chance from his two is actually 15%, then I think we're good. Don't wanna commit because that's how you die. To a Naja, at least. The ring bounce just hitting each person like 300 damage, you know? No, thank you. Well, that was insanely good. We got his bracer and shit. Um, I am going to commit now, though. Because it doesn't seem like he's coming over here. Seems like he's going to his blue. He just used his ring bounce, so it's clear it's not going to be insane. If I jump over to the blue buff, um, I might die because of ring bounce, but he's not even doing it. What is this guy doing? He's a mad lad. Oh. If you're not going to do your blue, then I will. Oh, the crits. Oh, the crits. Damn, that was unlucky as fuck. Three autos and two of them were crits. Four autos, my mistake. Four autos and two of them were crits. So that was unlucky as shit. And the fact that he sashed right when I ulted so that he avoided most of my ult. 
I got the blue though. I mean, if that means anything, I got the blue. <laughs> it's alright. I didn't have enough mana to alt him right when I stunned him, by the way, which is what I was trying to do, but didn't get the mana for it. Alright, pillared off his sash. Oh, he did a lot of damage to him there. We have our ult back up, too. If I can just keep it up in terms of like blocking his his clear like what I just did, then he is pretty fucked. Alright, we got the bracer. Perfect. Perfect. I wanted him to sash me there because I could have done a little bit of tower damage. That was stupid. It was stupid that I backed without doing even a little bit of tower damage. But that was perfectly played because I wanted him to sash me because I was so close to the wall. I was angling myself to stun him into the wall. And um, I know exactly where he's going to land if, if he sashes me. So if I just beat the sash, then all is good. Might want to fight me here. Wow, I did a lot of fucking damage. Holy shit. Alright. The red buff. Wow, my two did half his health. God damn. Okay, not gonna do much. There we go. I knew that wasn't going to kill me. I was full health, so no fear there. I'm just going to do this and then go get our damage booties. They should fear me now. Get that blue buff too while we're at it right here. Make sure we're stripping all the XP and gold away from him that we can. It's weird because he got first blood, but we're 1300 gold ahead and three levels. So, clearly we're doing something right. That was a mistake. That was a really nice one, or a really nice two. Damn, I just noted I'm doing this much damage and don't even have Transcendent stacked fully yet. You know, I'm close, but... That's insane. Holy fuck. He is just getting clapped, dude. He is getting absolutely demolished. Doing got tier one defense. Poor bastard. All right, we pill it off the sash, which is really good. He actually, um, I think he learned from the first time because I, if he sashed me, I was gonna, I was gonna beads and pillar him to the wall and kill him. So I think he learned from the first time I did that. 
if I didn't want to come up and, and try to sash me. Smart boy. Uh, let's delay this minion wave a little bit. The shifting sands. A few seconds. Gives us a little extra time that he has to be worried about red buff and bull demon and shit like that. Saw that coming. So the second that he missed, he missed his sash. I knew that he was gonna go for the blind alt because that's what almost every Najah player will do. If you're behind, you gotta you gotta do some risky ass plays sometimes, and that was the play that would have made the fight turn around. You know, was the blind alt. I'm gonna act like I'm running away, but instead I'm gonna kill him and he does his blue buff. Or not. I'm surprised that he didn't want to fight there. I guess he didn't know that I was there, to be fair. Um, we'll get beat stick just because... Oh, well, because I guess his healing. He finished his hide, which is good for him. To be honest though, I don't think it's going to do much when I'm throwing autos that do 300 plus damage. Non-crit, but eh, maybe. Ooh, that was nice. There you go, and that is game over, because the game would have been over anyways. Well played. Uh, on the first kill, it was very well played. He, I didn't have enough mana to ult right when my 2 happened, because I didn't use my mana pot like a moron. But, um... But besides that misplay that I had, it was GG, man. Good game. Damn, we got a long ass queue this time, huh? Do we call it there or do we get the set out? Because it is a four minute queue. Hmm. What's my on her record? It's probably pretty bad, huh? I know this guy. It's not bad. Uh. Well, I beat this guy in an on her mirror. Mm, Donnie Ray plays on her still? I didn't even know Donnie Ray still played. Mindless. Beat his honor a few times. Um, I, am I not even on here? Damn, dude. I ain't even be on here. I really like that sometimes, ain't it? I really like that sometimes. Damn. All right, well, I guess I can't see my record within this split. My record with set, though, is pretty damn good. I think. It's still good. I lost a few times. Um, I might actually not be number one. No, I still am. Yeah, I lost a few times. I'm 81 and 8, so it's not like it's bad. You know, like it's, it's still 10 to 1, so it's not bad. But, um, yeah, I lost a few few games that I'm not proud of was set recently I think I was a little bit tilted when I queued up and then it just snowballed into a loss and then you know shit happens is what it is whatever um my rank dual record yeah 101 and 11 so literally 90% all queues it's 89% because I took an L in a, in a normal conquest game without I was playing with viewers is I was playing with somebody named Bubble, and he trolled the Christ out of me. So, um, yeah, all of it, it's 90, but in duel, it's... Or all of it, it's 89, but in duel, it's 90. So it's not bad. But, like, I took L's like this that I, you know, I'm not very proud of, and then this. Like, this, this game should have been free. I was just tilted. I built, like, a dipshit. It's like... Yeah, there's just games I'm not proud of in here. But... 
everyone has those games. It's not a big deal. I would like to see my my duel record. That's rank joust, not rank duel. Oh, wow, I'm 50 and 10 with him. Uh, rank duel. Wow, I played a lot of honor. So I guess it would be. I guess this is my record then, huh? Only only four and two. It's not good actually. Wait, if I'm four and two, how do I have a border? So it's definitely not my record. What is my record? Do I only have two losses? I just need to get to 20 wins to get a Masters? Hmm. I actually don't know. Also, how many worshippers do I have on? Oh, how many diamonds? I'm one away from 40, which is good. I would like this eventually, this Diamond God recall skin, but also, that's a lot of play time, you know? <laughs> that's a lot of games. To be fair, you know, I have 6,000, 5,000, 4,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 2,600, 2,600, 2,500. Now, like, I have enough worshippers if I just stopped playing once I got someone diamond. But, uh, but I don't. I, I just enjoy these gods. These gods up here, I just, like, like playing them. It's just fun to me. I don't know. I'm surprised Set isn't up there. Honestly. And it, was, it sets like, I got him diamond, but I'm surprised he's not like up here already. Granted, I've literally only played him in duel, and you don't get a lot of worshippers in duel, so it's like, it's okay that it's not up there. But, um, I would like it a bit more if he was. <laughs> but don't you worry, we're going to get in there. Uh, one day, one day. But Hell is at 9, um, Osiris is at 9, and I think there's another one at 9 somewhere in here, I don't know, Fender's at 7. I th I'm pretty sure I have a, another god at 9 stars right now, dude, he banned set again. We'll whip at the Osiris again, fuck it. Um, or maybe I'll play Hell, do I have Hell Diamond, or Hell Master, Order? I've played her a few times recently. But I uh, I haven't lost with her, so if I have a border, it's definitely a master's one. Okay, I don't have one yet. Um, let's whip out the Osiris again, man. End it the way we started it. Ability based Osiris. Now this is not a good matchup. <laughs> this this is not a good matchup. If he decides that he wants to kill me, he can pretty much do it. Um. Gucci Oreo is a viewer of mine. Hey, he's a sub of mine. What's up, dude? I guess I shouldn't be that surprised. Like, a lot of the people that I'm going to play against in Duel have seen my content at some point. Just because I pretty much only play Duel. <laughs> and, you know, at some point, you're going to find one of my videos, whether you like it or not. Because I have 3,000 of them. Um, I think I'm just going to go Beads, actually, so you can't fear me. Fear me away and run. Yeah, Gucci Oreo is a sub of mine. But I like my TP. <laughs> Tier 3 sub right now and we can talk about it. Is a weird Hades build. Wacky. <sighs> okay. Oh, he ran away. Now I probably cannot get this. Anything early game for that matter. Hmm. I, 
would love the gold for these, but I don't know if I can tank it. If he dashes in, I might be able to kill him, actually. Very close. Very, very close. I really don't like fighting mages as Osiris, because I always like I feel like I should go runic shield, but then every time I go runic shield, I feel like it does nothing. So I think I am still gonna go runic shield, but that being said, I still feel like it does nothing. I'm gonna run away. Um, it's tier 2 Bancrofts. I've finished Boots though, so I'm definitely doing more damage than him right now. Uh, he's dead, I think. Yeah. And I would love this red buff now. But yeah, that's why I don't really, I don't ever start with a starter item on relic or on Hades, a starter relic on Hades because it just delays Bancroft too much, and Bancroft is like super strong on it. Yeah, he's gonna drop that for me. Appreciate it. If he didn't drop it, he would have ended up just having to lose it to me, which have been super awkward for him. Give me some mana back, thank you. Oh, he ulted. Alright. I might go Glad Shield anyways, honestly, just because it's so strong. These things don't do damage to me, so I can just auto them down. No need to waste my precious mana on them. Alright. I don't know. I'm gonna go Void Shield. Not Void Shield. Not Void Shield. Runic Shield, sorry. Uh, Ansile, that's not very good. Ansile is actually pretty damn bad against Hades. Alright, so he's gonna clear up. He's dead. Alright, let's go get my rooting shield. And then let's go into. Uh, could go Pestilence. Or I could go into Beat Stick. I think Beat Stick is going to be pretty good. Because I do, again, I like ability based Osiris more than auto attack based. Because in Duel, it's really fucking hard to stick to people. Um, most of the time, at least. I think a beat stick would really help me here. If he's not careful, he's gonna die here. Okay. That was the definition of not careful. That was absolutely the definition of not careful. But uh, that's all the time we got for the Try Hard Thursday. And we got a Masters Border montage with two Osiris and then a Woz Woz game, as well as just a random ass on her thrown in there. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.